गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रीफली टॉक अबाउट अ कॉमन कंडीशन इन मैन कॉल्ड द वेरिकोसियल सो दिस कंडीशन ऑल्सो अफेक्ट्स द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम टू एक्सप्लेन द कंडीशन आई हैव ड्रॉन अ डायग्राम ओवर हियर दिस इज द टेस्टिकल दिस कुड बी द राइट टेस्टिकल और द लेफ्ट टेस्टिकल डजन मैटर इन द रेड आई हैव ड्रॉन अ ब्लड वेसल विच ब्रिंग्स क्लीन ब्लड टू द टेस्टिकल दिस ब्लड इज रिच इन ऑक्सीजन and all the nutrition that the testicle needs to survive on once all the nutritions are used up and carbon dioxide is produced by the testicle the dirty blood or so called dirty blood which is not very rich in oxygen goes back into the body towards the heart with the blood vessels i have drawn in blue now there are several blood vessels which come out of the testicle the veins these blood vessels are called the pampeniform plexus and i'll write that name down in a minute they go higher up into the groin and through the groin they join into a single blood vessel called the testicular vein so the blood vessel bringing the blood into the testicle is called the testicular artery which brings fresh blood into the testicle and the used up blood which out of which all the nutrition and oxygen has been taken out returns back to the body towards the heart by a uh, little tiny little blood vessels called the pampeniform plexus and which joins to make the main blood vessel coming out to the testicle called the testicular vein so just to recap in this diagram the testicle epididymis next to the testicle which we can all feel if we examine the testicle the red blood vessel coming in is the testicular artery and the blue multiple small ones going out are called the pampeniform plexus and they join to form the single vein going out to the testicle called the testicular vein now testicular vein on the left side of our body is different from testicular vein on the right side of our body and the main difference in between the two is a testicular vein on the right side through the abdomen takes a different route as compared to the left testicular vein so the right testicular vein opens up directly into a main blood vessel in the tummy called the inferior vena cava whereas the left testicular vein opens up into the left renal vein which is the blood vessel coming out of the left kidney and this testicular vein the left side has got more pressure on it as compared to the right side now to the definition of varicocele varicocele is a condition like people get varicose veins in the legs which in which the blood vessels dilate underneath our skin and we can see very prominent veins underneath our skin on the legs same thing happen with the testicle and in the scrotum these pampeniform plexus blood vessels the veins which make the pampeniform plexus they dilate and they become very thick and dilated and like worms and the reason that happens is because most veins in our body have valves in them so i have drawn a magnified picture of a testicular vein here in which as you can see this is the wall of the vein blood is coming in this direction and inside the vein there is a valve so valve is like a trap door and when the blood is coming in this direction when it wants to go back the trap door shuts and the blood cannot go back so the blood can move only in one direction if for whatever reason these valves or these trap door they get damaged then the blood will not move in only one direction but also can go back without any resistance and that is what causes pooling of the blood in these blood vessels especially because of gravity in the scrotum the blood comes down and can't go back easily because the trap door does not shut and what happens that the blood is going back but coming back into the testicle again going back and coming back into the testicle again and these tiny little thin blood vessels they cannot take that pressure of the blood and they dilate into like varicose veins we have in the legs 
Varicocele is a very common condition. 15% of all adult males have a varicocele. Many of us don't know about it because it is very, very small. It is more common on the left side as compared to the right side. And I have explained the reason in my previous slide that the left testicular vein opens up into the left renal vein, hence there is more pressure on the left testicular vein as compared to the right side. This condition is more common in adolescents so around puberty time. However, it becomes slightly less common as the boy grows older. Hence some of them most probably resolve on their own. So about 20% in adolescents as compared to 15% in adult males after the age of 30 or 40. With the varicocele, what happens because there is more blood pooling around the testicle because of these dilated veins like the varicose veins, the temperature regulation of the testicle is lost and the testicle is always predisposed to slightly higher temperature as compared to a normal testicle. Vast majority of varicose seals are very small and they do not cause any problems to men and are totally asymptomatic and do not cause any trouble. Only a small minority of varicose seals will cause these symptoms and the main symptom is discomfort or dragging sensation or sensation of heaviness in the scrotum on that side, a feeling of swelling in the scrotum on that side. The testicle might feel a bit small on that side, especially the varicose seal being present for a long time. If the varicose seal is quite prominent, quite large varicose seal being present for many years, then there is a risk of infertility in the testicle on that side because that testicle cannot control its temperature very easily. Varicocele can be diagnosed by clinical examination by the doctor and that side of the scrotum with varicocele, especially the varicocele is quite prominent, feels like a bag of worms. Ultrasound scan can be used to confirm the diagnosis of varicocele. What is the treatment for varicocele? Vast majority of varicoceles do not require any treatment. They are very small, they don't cause any symptoms, they do not cause any problem with fertility. However, if the varicocele is very prominent, causing a fair bit of discomfort, if it's present on both sides or if it's causing the sperm count to go down or the testicle to become very soft and shrunken, then those varicoceles will require treatment. And the main treatment is surgery. Surgery can be done with a very small cut in the groin where the blood vessels are clipped or they are tied off or with a keyhole operation, laparoscopic varicoselectomy it's called or by putting a catheter in the blood vessel in the groin or in the neck and blocking these blood vessels from inside. These are quite specialized operation, embolization and microsurgery and they are performed in specialized centers. Keyhole surgery is quite commonly performed and in some parts of the world, the operation can be done in an old fashioned way with a cut in the groin. They all work equally well. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, then please feel free to write in the comment section and I'll be very happy to try and answer your questions the best I can. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you very soon. Take care.